We actually had a briefing last week, Ainsley, from, uh, for the Judiciary Committee from the Biden administration, and they actually told us, they said, we think, because we, we basically asked, where are they? Where, where, mm -hmm. How many are in America? Where, where are they at in the country? How many just send back? They couldn't tell us all the numbers, but they also said, we think a number of them have went back. I mean, you wanted to laugh, like, <laughs> ah. are you kidding? They make this 1,000-mile this trek, and they're actually just going to turn around and go. But they actually told us that. So yeah. they have no idea how to handle this. Again, when you send the wrong messages from the White House, bad things happen. Well, the first question I'd ask General Milley is, your name ever been on a ballot? You ever run for office making the decisions you're making as reported by uh, Bob Woodward in his book? If he actually, I mean, it's the same question I'd ask a lot of these people. Dr. Fauci ever run for office? Jim Comey ever run for office? Lois Lerner ever? I mean, the idea that these people who never put their name on a ballot are making decisions for the American people, that is not how our system works. So the question I'd ask General Milley is, when did you run for office and make these kind of decisions where you can over, when you can overrule basically the, uh, the, the president of the United States? Trump. If, if this in fact happened, you know, overrule President Trump? I mean, for goodness sake, that is so wrong, so so inconsistent with our constitutional system. I hope those are the kind of questions that he gets. And then 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 I would get into 13 service members gave their life for their country. One from the fourth district of Ohio. Americans left behind. Allies left behind. 85 billion dollars of equipment and weapons left behind. And Joe Biden, the commander in chief, calls that an extraordinary success. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So that's the kind of tone I would take with with General Milley. I'm not on that committee, but I'm sure some of my Republican colleagues will do just that.